we're live, finally. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to the Retro Robin Show live with me, Wayne, and of course Emo there, who's slightly off camera, dancing somewhere around the screen. We're going to go through a few of the latest uh, games, and we're going to play some of those Crash Smashes from back in the day. We're up to issue 20, and of course you've got me gloriously live, uh, recording each section as it happens then what I do tend to do is I compile all these things into one show and uh, hopefully bring them to you with a bit of retro gaming fun I've got my monitor here so I can see any comments that are made please help me if you comment I'm able to respond live as it happens which will be good yeah I've been ill for a while now and um, I'm getting better but very 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 slowly I've had what we call the six month cough um, but I tell you we have got plenty to review in the way of Spectrum games for instance I'm gonna do what I usually do on this uh, today I've got to go to my retro titles I've got to ignore Emo as well because he's talking to me and I can't speak and respond to him uh, where are we? Uh, I should know this folder back like the back of my hand you can see on there there's a game called New Games for the ZX Spectrum. We'll get to that in a moment because we'll be going there to play one or two of the games that I've seen online and give them a bit of a review, hopefully, to see if they're any good. Retro titles. Shall we start with some retro titles then? Yeah, why not? Which one was my latest one? Latest one's at 80. Is that the one? I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, yes. Okay, the volume may be okay, I'm not sure, you've got to tell me, to be fair, I've got to put the game gear to one side, and let's do this. So, here we go, uh, Sunday the 4th of the 2nd of 2024, welcome to the Retro Robin Show, me, Wade, Emo, in the background, we've got the Toast Rock. Yeah, we've got the Toast Rack, we've got the Spectrum Plus 3, and we may even be plugging in the Sam Coupe before the end of the show. Shut up, Emo, I'm talking. <laughs> uh, what's been happening in your life? Well, there's been plenty happening in mine, including little finds, repairs, etc. Uh, helping Richard uh, upgrade his um, Atari ST, uh, and his Sam Coupe, and... One or two other little jobs as well. Um, <coughs> he's kept me busy. I don't mind being kept busy. <laughs> I don't mind being kept busy. Anyway, what's on today's show? Well, if you missed the start of the show, just before I was warming up, we've got a crash. we got the crash number 20 from back in the day, from 1985, really, that long ago. It's coming up to 40 years. A couple of years from now, 40 years since 1985, which arguably is the best year of the Sinclair Spectrum ever. But was they all good years? Probably. Probably was, indeed. So, yeah. There's the website, acewayneatlive.co.uk. I hope you enjoy the show. I will we'll do my best to entertain you. Everything you see here is not on Patreon. It's completely free. It's free entertainment brought to you via the 8-bit variety. So if you love a bit of 8-bit, then hopefully you're going to love a bit of me and you're going to love a bit of this show. Any games that you think I've missed that I have not played, please let me know and I'll give them a go on the show today. Big hello to everybody that's watching already. Thank you for joining joining me. In the meantime, what we need to do now is we need to select today's first file and have a look at the games are we going to play. So I'm going to go straight for the kill here. I'm going to go with a new game that I've spotted and uh, I'm going to go to the retro new games, which is the folder I said to you earlier. Where is it? Oh. Uh, once I can find it, my files on this system are all over the place. Uh, was it retro titles? Ah, there we go. New ZX Spectrum game. So, let's have a look. Hopefully, we've got to have a look at uh, not any of these. Not any of these. That was a great game, wasn't it? Bomb Sweeper. I don't quite know how to play. Mash Soup 128k. This has got 128k sound. And unless I can find my remote control, which I have it here, we will have a brief look at the loading screen. So come on, loading screen, show your 
average race. That was a brief look indeed. Okay, we got we got an AY tube. Interesting, we can select between keyboard, Kempston, Sinclair, or we can even redefine the keys. So why do I need that? I don't know. Do I need that? I don't know. Shall I redefine the keys? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Uh, we'll try and work out what to do in a moment. Okay, we'll go for two Kempston. Oh, that is loud. Sometimes I have the volume on just a little bit too high and it deafens me. Okay. Got ya! <coughs> nice little sprite that, look at it. I like the way this sprite is bouncing up and down. That really gives it a nice feel. Oh those spiders, ouch. Those spiders are quite good aren't they? Um, those are nice looking sprites to be fair. So I presume I've just got to collect all of these, what look to be, mushrooms. Oh really? How many lives have we got? We've got eight lives, so if I don't clear this level, I need shooting. Look, I'm nowhere near it. There we go. See, I'm not paying attention when I'm talking, and really I should be paying attention. Are them like frogs? Because when they're on the ground they don't look like frogs, but when they're in the air they are exactly like frogs. Oh, right, okay, so um, I've accidentally quit. So I've got to remember the button C on that is quit. Uh, I was looking for the jump button, but it doesn't seem as if we've got one. So what we need to do now is... Uh, Start the game again. This time I've got all my lives back and I should get through it fairly easy and be able to just game as we go along. Bit of a delay before it starts. jump up so what we have to do is we have to work our way back round okay so there's no jump yeah they look like frogs don't they but they're not quite like frogs oh, I, walk, I was trying to go up the ladder and I walked back into myself what a rookie mistake Oh, I'm hopeless. I'm hopeless. Am I that bad? Anybody got any comments? No? Okay, that's fine. Right, here we go. This time, I've got a good feeling about this run. I've got a good feeling about this run, everybody. I'm going to make it round without losing a life, I promise thee. Don't stick that nose out too far, and I'll have the same sort of problems myself. I told you I had a good feeling about this run, I've already made it further than I've made it before. Oh come on! Okay, I didn't make it round but I'll do it. I'm getting impatient, I'm getting impatient! Ah, oh, it's getting to me, this game's getting to me! Hey Mo, you're knocking the camera kid, I'm gonna have to put you on your skateboard. Right, first thing, I don't, I'm not, a, I don't know how much the music changes, but it seems a little bit on the dull side, I think the opening music was a lot better than this music, it just seems such a minimalistic sound, um, I can't believe I've lost so many lives on this, what should be a really easy level, okay, maximum effort, Maximum concentration, zero mistakes. That's why I've gone quiet everybody, is I'm working on getting through this level without losing a life. 
I want to see the next screen so I'm determined not to die. Yep, okay, this is about as far as I got last time before I lost a life. Well, now I'm, now I'm in new territory here. And I've learned from the mistakes there of uh, waiting till I'm right the way down. We're at a new screen! Get in there! What have I told you? Where am I? Oh, there I am. So, we can go up first. Oh, this is going to be fun. We've got to time this, so... I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll click this one first. <sighs> Ouch. I need to look up my Facebook account to see if I've got any comments on Facebook because that one's separately. Oh, I see what you've got to do here. They're like little levers that drop, so you've got to time it to drop on there. Ah! I didn't know where that extra speed... Where did he get that extra speed from? <laughs> did you see that? He shot... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> no! They charge at you! That is going to make this level extremely difficult. And I've only got two lives to do it with. So you're going to make sure they're not looking your way. Go, go, go. Oh, I got impaled. Oh. Okay, let's start with the easy one. I've found a new trick you can duck. Oh, well, that didn't work, did it? I need one more go. Am I allowed one more go? I will, but what I'll do is I'm going to define the keys. I'm going to redefine the keys so I know which keys are which. So we've got um, left, right, up, down, fire. Quit. So there's only four keys. There's no jump. But there is a fire. Okay, one keyboard. Now I had real trouble with this one last time, so uh, let's see if we can get past it. Uh, first go. We know what to do. We just got to do it without losing a life. Ten lives is what you start with. Square looking frogs. Look like they got pigtails onto me. So much better when I'm playing on keyboard. So much better. How are the. Oh. Now, I, I sympathise with the character because he stuck his nose out too far there and he got had. Now, I had that problem in real life uh, <laughs> with my soldering iron. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I often burn the end of my nose because I get I use an eye winkle while soldering on the circuit board, and uh, yeah, it's not fun. I look like Rudolph. <laughs> it's not Christmas, but I usually got a burnt nose somewhere along the line. See, the AY music does become interesting, but it's just a series of rather. Uninspiring bleeps. So I've only lost one life so far. This all, this go already has become. 
a lot more easier than you ever have. We've collected all of these, the door is open and we're through to the next level. Unbelievably, that was a lot easier. Now I've had a couple of goes than it was first time round. We'll start by collecting the easiest of the ones, then we'll try and get the one at the top of the screen, I think. I don't know what the duck does, but it doesn't do anything any good, so um, unless you can fire... Unless... I wonder... When you're in that blue growth there, that you're able to duck and it won't see you. Should we try it? Is it going to see me in that, or am I hiding? No, it's going to see me, it doesn't work. Well, how on earth am I going to complete this screen? <sighs> you really got to be careful with that single pixel flipping movement. I panicked. How many lives have I got left? Six. Are we taking bets to see how many people, uh, how many times I'm going to lose lives trying to complete this screen? Do you think I'll do it? I actually believe I will. I think I will do it. I want to go to the top first because I've got a feeling I could make the top. went for it and died. I'm going to try getting past that first, that section first. Uh, doing good, I'm doing good people. I'm doing good. Supposed to get the last two. Oh, no idea. No idea. Um, I can get quite far. <coughs> But I'm stuck on this second screen. So I've got no idea how you're meant to get to the last two. I don't seem to have a fire function, I do have a quit function. Is there something that I'm missing here? No. There's no way you can rush down there and get back in time, surely not. I don't know what that's supposed to do. Look, you, you can hide, but you can't hide from... You can see you can see you in the blue foliage of whatever it is meant to be, but you can't hide, so I've got no idea there. Right, we'll come to the end of this go and then we'll give it a, a marks out of 10 and uh, we'll move on to the next game for today uh, before we move on to the crash stuff. Mistake. Terrible mistake I made indeed. Um, right, okay. Right, 
I've got the hang of that one. I've got the hang of that one quite nicely. There's no way I can get to that. No way I can get to that. Um, now he's carrying a sword upward, so I can't really fall on him. Can I fire? Is there any way of firing? <clears throat> there's, there's a key to this that I don't realise. I wonder if we go out one side and come in the other. No, you don't go out that door. No way you can do it. There's no way I can do that. I don't get it. Okay, well, marks out of ten then. Um, until I get off that second screen, it's really hard to give it a fair rating. But at the moment, I like the look of the game, and it seems to play quite well. Oh, we got a notification. Uh, however, the graphics are nice. The sound is a bit well underwhelming, is the way to put it. Uh, but the playability seems to be there, except for that one screen, which I just cannot get past. So I presume I'm going to have to give that a 6.5 out of 10. Do you think that's fair, or am I being rather unfair? Anyway, moving on! We're back. Right. Uh, next one, as I look. Uh, We've done the many person. I oh, that is a good game. Um, uh, played that not so long back. Forest Escape is really tough. That's probably going to mock up all the awards of game of the year, along with the Zolsha one. Um, Party Scroller. What is that? I did pick this up. I'm not 100% sure what it is. Emo, you've got to go on your skateboard, I'm afraid. Okay. Looks like a demo. It is a demo. Okay, it's a demo. So while that demo runs for a moment, uh, I'll prepare the next section of the show. You can enjoy the demo while I enjoy trying to get things up and running uh, for you. So you don't need to see my... Me? <laughs> I seem to remember the uh, the same on the, uh, the Sam Coupe having a similar sort of demo to that. Let's bring me back. Let's get rid of that text. Oh, hello, I'm back. Right. Lovely looking demo, isn't it? Lovely looking demo. Impressive. Almost very impressive. See, I can see that um, 
the same uh, image as you're seeing. Wow, look at that! <coughs> that is graphically gorgeous. Wow. I do love the colour palette of the Spectrum, it's unlike any system ever and with such a limited range of colours they produce so many beautiful pixel arted pictures. Obviously a lot of them are represented uh, elsewhere, to, uh, Emo, you're going to bug me if you keep wandering around. Uh, in Crash Magazine you've got the Simon Buckley section and I always go straight to that to have a look at some of the screen art. In the meantime, what we need to do now is we need to show you the cover of Crash. There it is! Well, no. There it is! Try again. <coughs> Crash, uh, issue number 20 from September 1985 would have cost you 95 pence. Uh, on the front cover we've got advertised Monty on the run, Popeye, and uh, something else, <laughs> which I can't be bothered. But Red Moon seems to be uh, the prominent game that's featured there. What a fantastic looking cover that is. A viper which is of the giant variety. Those fangs are quite truly terrorising. And I'm also jealous that he's got teeth that I haven't. Yet yeah, mine are all dentures nowadays. Um, let's have a look, uh, flick through one or two of the pages from when I bought this magazine. I bought all of the Crash magazines back in the day and I've donated them to a museum simply because I've read through them and I want everyone to have the experience of being able to look through and read them as well. All of my Crash magazines, not all of them, one or two of them was missing a page or two, were in good nick. Would I have the chance to collect them all again? I'd absolutely go back and collect them all again because it was nostalgia, it was my childhood and the main thing I bought Crash for was indeed the cheats. I loved cheating on the games, simplifying things, yes. I loved all the different pokes you got for Jet Set Willy, Manic Miner and anything that was simplifying the game. For instance, R-Type Cheat was the best. There was no way I was ever going to get past a certain level on that. After the big spaceship, which is about as far as I could get with normal lives, I couldn't get any further without a little bit of invincibility assistance. And boy, what a poke that was. Zynap's the same. I love that poke as well. Excellent. Brilliant poke. And many other pokes that was all integrated by me hacking for the loading system or sometimes there was a typing by Nick Roberts or many other members of the Crash uh, youth that was working in Ludlow at the time so you could make games a lot simpler, a lot easier and you can see more of the game. My favourite poke of all time, one that I think is amazing, was the Dynamite Dan Infinite Lives poke because there's no way on earth even if you collected all those dynamites there was a special perfectly timed jump to get to the briefcase to open it before you get back up to the airship which carried you away how are you ever supposed to complete a game like that without a infinite lives poke apparently somebody did it because there was a competition and somebody won it the more information about that i'd like to know someone is really really a bit of a genius then that is a little bit of the orange color of the loading screen let's flick through one or two other pages um Frankie Goes to Hollywood, not my favourite game uh, by Ocean. Frank Bruno's Boxing, we covered the other week. By the way, that was a good game, but I didn't like the fact that you had to load sections. However, we're over that now. Look at the prices from there, from £6.95, uh, £7.95 to £8.95. Um, and what are we? We Spectrum owners... Well, lucky indeed, because we had the cheapest price, and arguably it's the same game on the Amstrad as it is on the Sinclair Spectrum. So, yeah, I've got the screen over there, I'm able to review it as well. Not a fan of baseball, that was, you know, not me. There's the inlay of the card, let's move down now to the first crash smash of the day. Oh, lucky here. We have Monty on the run and what a game that was. A sequel, a follow-up, the second in line to, to the trilogy and I would say that, that I'm not going to count Monty as innocent as part of a Monty Mole trilogy because let's be honest, it was rubbish. What did you say, man? What did you say, son? 
£1.95 machine code. Of course, Gremlin Graphics, 48k. Yeah, it didn't have 128k, did it? It was just before the 128k came out. Um, this I loved. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Let's have a look at the ratings then, shall we? <clears throat> and you can see the ratings there, but I can't. Not without a magnifying glass. So um, what I'll do is I'm going to just tear up Retro Robins. Whoops, there we go. Uh, remove my main cam so I can just do a bit of speaking. Let's go through the ratings. The use of computer, 88% is that? Or 89? 89%. 89 uh, graphics, 91. Playability, 93. Getting started, 90. Addictive qualities, 96. Value for money, 95. Overall rating then was 94%. That was that in that day. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to go straight to uh, the cover that up um, and bring back the main cam. Um, right, we've got to reset. We've got to find this game. Here I am, and there I'll come back. We're going to play this game now. We're going to give it a rating and see if it stood the test of time. But let's be quite honest. I think it did. Um, now. All I've got to do, uh, let's put a, a clip in while I um, adjust the screen. Uh, I'll be with you in a second. Boom, there we go, I'm back again. Now I've got all the games, so um, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Right, we need to exit where we was last time. I need to go to my games. Let's see how quickly I can find this without any problems. Monty is innocent, but the person that programmed that is guilty of crimes against the spectrum because it is dreadful. <laughs> We're going to go for the tap file, that way you get to see the loading screen. Uh, we're going to go 48k because there is no 1 to 8k mode I don't think it's a shame it would have been nice with 128k music but it isn't it hasn't got it I'm afraid so yeah right there we go Peter Harrop a guy I'd like to have a uh, see an interview with um, don't hear much of him I haven't seen him at any talks or anything oh <coughs> One thing I don't like is I hate this. I really hate this. This tune was awful. It's not only that, it blocks your key presses, so you have to hold down a key. Yeah, and I think it's shift and enter. So we go click the uh, select this two four. I think we need the gas mask thirteen, and I forgot what the other one was. Was it the barrel? I forgot what the other one. Does anyone know? If anyone knows which one it was, please let me know now, and uh, I can uh, say hello to a few people. By the way, I've just got the chat up. Hello to ZX T Lee. How are you? Good to see you, sir. Um, Mr. Chops, good to see you, sir. Uh, Mark Andrews, how are we? Good to see you as well, sir. Um, Fuzzy Buddy, hello there. Um, what else? The chat didn't show just so good. Um, good, 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 good. What's next? Well, Brett, you superstar DJ, you. I haven't uh, heard from you for a long time. Good to see you as well. Right, Monty on the run, by the way. Spoiler alert, I haven't got a clue which one. I think it's 18, is it? Is it the bug roll? Because that's what that looks like. <laughs> we'll, we'll go. Oh, hang on. I need another one. I know the rope's got to be one of them. I've got to be that one. 18, 19. I forgot which one. It doesn't matter. Playing game. Right, there we go. Oh, look. I do love the fact that you can be able to spin like that. Um, so we're going to click the money in this one. 
here we go. Now remember there are booby traps in this game. And we've got the return of the annoying press. The annoying press because it's sort of random. Um, but... I think the best way to go, to go, to go, to go, is to start on the downwards. I mean, we're going to go back to there anyways, so it doesn't matter. Now, there's a sequence with these. Oh, and that's not the way to go forwards. Five lives is all you have on this game. Oh, and uh, I'm already down to three. There we go. Got it. Um, I don't think we collect the dynamite because that explodes. But we can collect the cake. You don't have to go and collect absolutely everything. It's all about the points. Hey. Cake will do me nicely. Thank you very much, sir. Let me have a look. I've got to go. go oh, right. Okay. Boom. There we go. Got that one. That wasn't too difficult, was it? This could be the shortest lived go ever because even though I've completed this and believe it or not I've done it without cheats. It's been a while. Oh, no. I got right to the end and then butchered it just to put the, <laughs> to be quite honest. Um, show. Okay. Let's see if we can get up here. When the main show is recorded, I, I tend to put a lot of AY tuning into it. Now, obviously, you're going to need to collect all the coins to complete this game. But, I'm not going to do that because I just want to show more of the screens. Um, experience, that is, guys. Oh, inexperienced that is, guys. It's really hard to get past this bit. So you've got to be on the level. So, there we go, done it. And this clock actually doesn't go all the way. Yeah, at first I thought I was doomed when I first played this, but it doesn't actually go all the way. Um, this is not an easy one because you got to jump backwards. You got to go backwards before you can go forwards. If you know what I mean. There is a section here that's horrible. It's where you got to jump the gaps. This one. Oh, this is really annoying. And this is an infinite lives poke error one as well because if you've got invincibility on, I'm done for. It's really hard. Really hard. Oh well, I do think so Emo, you're going back on your skateboard. So there we go. <clears throat> Let's turn that vile music down. That was the first Crash Smash of the day. Do I think it would have stood the test of time? I'll still go back and uh, play it like just. But before that, not really. Since I completed it, I've not really looked at it because I was... Uh, I got the final game, which was Alvida Saint Monty, which had amazing AY music. Normally I'd showcase that and very often I've used that on my show in the past as background music while I'm speaking. The music is annoying, um, that for I'm going to do something that's going to shock people. I thought it was a great game, I loved it. Back then, was it a crash smash? I didn't consider it a crash smash back then, I don't know. At best I would say it was 85% to me, 8.5 out of 10. Do you agree? As always, leave the comments in the comments below. For the platformer though, it had some unique styles and some great stuff that uh, I uh, thought was brilliant. But no, definitely not a crash smash back then. And even now, I thought it was only 85%. Still, do you agree? Right, let's get the display capture back up. There we go. Um, we've got... 
We're on the Monty one. We've got to get to the next Crash Smash Down in issue number 20. Does anybody who's ahead of him know what it's going to be? I do. Oh. Um, yeah, so. Boom. There we go. The next Crash Smash. I seem to be leaving the screen on a long time. Just going to catch up with some of the comments. Thank you, Chops. Just catching up with the comments here. Okay, we've caught up with all the comments. It's uh, good that there's so many people have joined me. Um, right. On the run. Oh, God, this game. This game is tough. Um, right, let's get rid of my, my ugly mush for a moment while I read out the ratings. Boom. Hi. On the run. Lovely looking game. So, on the run would have cost you £8.90. Usually eight point ninety five Denton Design. Okay. So we've 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 already had Monty on the run, and all of a sudden we've gone to another game called On the Run by Denton Design. Uh, could you could you write the script? On the run. Anyway, I've got the file up ready. All I'm going to do is I'll let you have a look at butchers that page. We'll flip to the next page. Which should be coming up now. There we go. Okay. Use of computer 90%. Graphics 92%. Playability 85%. Getting started 89%. Addictive qualities 93%. Value for money 86%. Overall rating then was 91% for on the run. Uh, I think what we can do here is we'll load the tap file. And it came out in 1985, so it's debatable to see the least. Let's get let's bring back the Engo by main capture. Um, let's bring back my ugly mush. There I am. Uh, but the problem is I've got this over my face, and we'll have a little look at the loading screen. We need to press wait at the options. By the way, today's show is powered via the Spectrum Next, which was for a long time. <coughs> this might not work. This might not work. Um, simply because I might have to choose... There we go, loading screen came up okay. I'm pretty surprised. Not bad. On the run, define your keys. Select a joystick. What joysticks can we select? Okay, we can select two for Kempson, can we? We'll do that. Okay, it's 91%. Um, and press zero to return. Okay, want to play the game? Oh, wow, that tracks me, does it? I didn't get the memo. Didn't get the memo that tracked me. I'll tell you what. What a shot that was. Oh, oh what a fantastically graphically nice looking game. My bullets don't quite reach. Oh and wow, look, it shoots at angles as well. That's that's amazing. Good thing is you don't die straight away. You don't die straight away. This map is the graphics uh, on the screen. Graphics are really, really quite nice, aren't they? <coughs> I mean, look at that. Is it a shell or a rock? It looks like a some sort of shell. Now I can see that the screen doesn't fully change, does it? It sort of, sort of half changes. I think we've got a time limit kept now. We can't go any higher, so it's downwards we go. I think we'll be going around in a bit of a circle. Look at that big blank screen there. 
Now that's going to be on the opposite side, yeah, okay. This is a really nice looking game. The only thing I would say that's got a bit of a drawback is the the delay between the swapping of screens is quite a lag. Um, that's unlike Spectrum because usually it's pretty fast in changing the screens. It does look like you've got an unlimited amount of bullets. Now if I'd have bought this, I'd have been well happy. I'd have been well happy and, and happy with the money that I paid because this, ain't, this is quite an interesting looking game. It's quite playable. Um, I mean, you've, you've got plenty of things to discover. Um, how I draw a maze, this is beyond me because some of the screens don't change in one go. They sort of half move along. So making that uh, a bit of a map of this must have been quite an achievement. I'll have to look in Crash to see if somebody mapped it, but I'm sure they did. I wouldn't have paid much attention. And some of these missiles seem to home in on things, don't they? And look at the amount of spots we had on the screen in one go there. That was quite good. And they stay there until you destroy them. I suppose, theoretically, we could be just shooting and killing everything. Ah, we've got one of those. That's turned blue. So that's what we've got to collect. Uh, those things I presume that are turning blue and we've got a bomb which we can place I suppose so Just got to work our way around the map we've got two bombs now so uh, don't seem to have a problem in uh, staying alive so it's, it's not an unfair game Oh, I don't seem to have a problem in staying alive, so I'll go and land on a buddy to give it a proper test. That's uh, clever thinking. It looks like um, you've only got one life, though. Look at the frogs. Look at the graphics of the frogs. That is really nicely done. Ah, oh, there we go. I failed my mission. Um, <coughs> playable graphically, very nice, uh, great graphics, um, an interesting game, and uh, yeah, I kind of that was to be fair my first play. I'm totally going to agree with Crash, it is a smash, and I really, really liked it. So, yeah, I thought, well, there we go, Crash Smash, definitely, definitely, indeed. Do you agree? Does anybody have as anybody here not played that? If you have, I'll, I suggest you give it a go. Um, let me catch up with the comments before we move to another screen. Right, we haven't had the. Should we go for the night law or should we go for alienate? I think it's going to be alienate. <coughs> we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Now, um, what I need to do here is I'm going to get rid of me again because oh, we want the display capture on oh good Emo's battery's dead uh, let's get rid of my ugly mush for now main can buy retro robin's on <coughs> right because I was a bit slow in uh, I'm a bit slow in changing these things over. <laughs> Emo's just fell off the desk. Can you see? That's why I put you on charge, little buddy. He needs to go back. He needs to go back. Right. Let's go down to the final game of the day for Crash Smashes. Oh, look at that, Monty on the run. Oh, look. We just played that. Great logo. I think we got one more we can play today. And then I'll call the stream coming to an end. Short stream, but 
uh, hopefully you found it an enjoyable one um, just looking down now now oh look at plane tips Robin candy ah, I'm getting messages left right and center I'll have to get oh I've got that game I've got that game what a game I loved it but it was a bit slated I think there's the map of ANA I've got to print that out one day must print that out I may have skipped past there it is <laughs> final game of today is gonna be Popeye <coughs> so Popeye £8.95 48k Ooh. 48k look how graphically pleasing that is All right look how graphically pleasing that is um, we're gonna get down to the next section and I'll even though you can probably see the ratings for those that can't I will read out the ratings <coughs> And they're as follows. Use of computer, 72%. That's quite low. How's it got such a low rating of use of computer with that amount of graphics on screen? Graphics, uh, 92%. Playability, 86%. Getting started. Is that 65%? Addictive quality, 92%. Value for money, 88%. Overall rating then was 90%. That is quite a low game, isn't it? That is quite a low game. So, um, do you know what I can do is I can actually get, um, I don't know if they did a sequel to this, did they? Did they do a sequel to Popeye? Did they do a sequel to Popeye? So, okay, P.O.P. 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 I'm just catching up with myself. I've gone to P.O.W. so I've gone past it. Um, right, I'll change the screen over so you can see what I'm doing. Um, right, let's get rid of. Uh, put me next back on. Hey, transmit, transfer. <coughs> I'm looking for it. I've gone past it. I've gone past it, haven't I? I'm looking for it. If you spotted before me, let me know. Where is he? Where's Popeye gone? Ah, there he is. Right in front of me. Okay. Um, please don't tell me we've got to go for the loading sequence. No, we'll just go for the Z80. Uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. Is I'll, I'll load it. Right. Just so as we can see the loading screen. I don't think this has got AY music, so unfortunately we won't get to enjoy the sounds of the AY. Let's put my main cam back on and get rid of the titles. Oh, here we go, I'm back. So um yeah. Um DK Tronics! Didn't they make a joystick? Did the DK and Jonics make peripherals as well? I'm pretty sure they did, you know. Oh, the vintage sound of a great loading sequence. Um, yeah, I think they did. I think they made a a peripheral or something there. Oh no! Wasn't it the keyboard? Yeah, it was the keyboard, wasn't it? I remember rightly, the keyboard was the one. Uh, let's turn that dreadful noise down. Shall we put the game gear back on and have some uh, some sound? Because that's what it, that's what the sound you heard before I started the stream was this here. All right, let me just transmit. Boom. Was this here? It's my modded game gear with the uh, cartridge on the side. I hope I don't get a copyright strike for that one, but uh, that was so funny, it was so good. Um, it's a hyperload game. Oh, yeah, DK Tronics, I'm sure they did the keyboard. Programmer is <coughs> Don Priestley. <coughs> was a bishop at one time. 
probably not. <laughs> uh, well, it's Sunday, my washing's on, I'm enjoying myself. Popeye, this game is Tastastic. It's a new saying, that is. <laughs> I was watching Tez Rowland reviews the other day. He does tend to play the same old, same old game over and over again, doesn't he? The amount of times I think he's posted, um, <laughs> what's that one? I like the uh, light gun version of it. Um, Operation Wolf, he posted. Uh, he posted Outrun again. Um, but it's a fun channel. I do enjoy watching his little, little short videos. And they're just a Friday night live stream as well. But unfortunately for him, he's going over what I like to watch as a live stream, which is the Friday night tights because there's a couple of uh, guys there are quite interesting characters very opinionated but boy what a start in toy call that show has um i was watching as well this weekend lee for more fun fixing it is it oh that is fun he was doing up some toast racks that's quite a good uh, one um <clears throat> who else was there there was a few of them a few of them I watch. A lot of YouTubers I watch. I tend not to. I don't watch TV, but I do watch YouTube, and I tend to go scrolling through the videos. I definitely like some of these uh, documentary type YouTube channels you've got, um, like uh, Trash to Treasure from uh, RMC um, or RCM. <laughs> RMC. I got it the wrong way around first time. Um, so that that is good because not only does he repair the computer but he tells you a little bit about the history of the computer what the components do and sort of like an education straight away as you can see that didn't take too long to load now we're going to redefine those keys but there's no way right i'm going to uh go with those keys so i'm going to go for redefine um Okay, it's to start. I mean, the game itself is full of colour clash, but not majorly bad. Look, they use they use red background when he walks over the red behind him in square blocks, and they use white when he goes, and they use obviously when he goes through a green door, it's going to be green. Uh, yeah, it was a bad idea. You've got to go and get the love hearts. So we need to find a heart. And when we find a heart, which we've got one here. How do we get... Oh, I've got to go through the door. And to go through the door, I've got to get... I did badly, okay? I admit I did badly, but don't worry, I've got this, I'll do better this time round. Uh, okay, let's start. Well, I will get one heart at least. And hopefully we'll get up the ladder before he comes. Yeah, we've got a key. Hopefully with that key we can get those hearts. Olive! I'm going up. Shall I go up first? Spinach! Well, we'll get that in a minute. I presume we've got to fall, fall across there. There's a heart there. I don't want to get to that heart. So to get to that heart, we've got to come out of this door, haven't we? Ah! Where did that dragon come from? Yeah, thanks for that. Only problem is I've got to run for it now. And I'm going to use up my key. Oh, come on, that flame was nowhere near me. The flame was nowhere near me, was it? Hey? Eh? I haven't got one heart yet, have I? Just one heart. I 
Oh great, run for it Olive! <laughs> I'm not a fan of Olive, I think she's ugly. You can't get me I'm on the ladder. We got a key, get down here. Come on. No, no, I want to go back up, I don't want to see that thing. Down, down. Yay. Come on, walk. Oh, we got to come out first, haven't we? Why? I've got a key, so why aren't you opening? Oh, no. Oh, what chance have you got there? Oh, I've done it, I've survived. <laughs> Shit. Oh well, let's have an explore. I'm not going to get a heart. Clearly, I've lost the I've lost the ability to do well on this game. Right, okay. Well, I can't get out of that door. Can't get out of that door. So I've got a key, but I don't know how to use it. Oh come on! Now if he suddenly appears outside that screen before I even get a chance to get there. Keep going. Okay, there's more than one way. Ah, I managed to walk past him then. That's odd, isn't it? That's odd. Okay, the problems we got with this game is it is graphically lovely, but unfortunately it is a very chunky movement, very chunky indeed, and uh, what I don't know what I expected though to be fair because I can't see how you can get better. I've got a key and I've got some spinach, but I don't know how to use the key, so perhaps I should have used some instructions before playing this. Isn't it just amazing some of the things you see come across the screen? I mean, it really is quite unique. Now, I wanted to get that heart, didn't I? But you can't walk along there without falling off. Unless you just tap once. No, he jumps straight away and I... He, oh, give me some spinach. Thank you. I'm running out of spinach now, so I, I won't be able to survive too much longer. What? Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Well, I do declare that was rubbish. Uh, <laughs> Popeye, um, ninety percent um, use of computer was oddly uh, low. Uh, I do be clear, I don't think he was quite like that. Um, oh, thank you. Yes, I agree. I'm um, just looking at the comments. 90%. Oh, do I say it's 90%? You know, for the graphics alone, I think it deserves a smash. It does, because it's used an awful lot. That used a lot. That, no wonder why it runs so slowly when you've got all that amount of. Uh, artwork on the screen and they've used as many clever tricks as they can to limit they haven't eliminated but to limit the amount of color clash on the screen for instance his legs are magenta but if he's behind a green background they magenta and green or if he's behind a red background it's magenta and red that they've used uh, to try and limit it so there's got to be clever coding to change those two colors as it goes over each background so it matches the background and limits the amount of color clash but the problem is you do get uh, it delete the pixels behind it because obviously they want to keep it so as it looks cartoonish um, 
that could de be improved with a little bit of a modern touch for the Spectrum Next, I reckon. Uh, it isn't a bad game. It's a bit like Trapdoor in the way things are, are really colourful. And the movement of the characters is a similar... Uh, there seems to be a lot happening uh, on the screen at one time. It does suffer with a little bit of slowdown. However, not too much to make it an unplayable game. It's quite a fun game. So overall... I think it is a crash mash. I'm going to keep it to a 90% rating. Do you agree? Oh, let's find out, shall we? What, what we got to do now, before we carry on, uh, I've got to go to my little last bit of a sequence that I always do, and I'm going to show you how I do it, because it, it's very rare that you see me do this. So, um, Is it that one? I don't know. I think it's that one. It's the ending sequence, of course. I'll finish with a bit of this. Right, everybody, thank you for joining me on the live Retro Robin show on the fourth Sunday of 2024. Yeah, with the second month into the new year so before you know it the new year will be gone spring is rapidly approaching and i'll be looking forward to that cannot wait for the clocks to go back and we can have longer days and shorter nights uh, as always big thank you to richard the hitman hollins to uh, matthew logue who always provides a white tune in the background and to everybody else who supported me in this channel in the meantime i do hope you've enjoyed today's retro robins there will be more as long as you want it or provide it so if you love a bit of baby then obviously you're gonna love a bit of me till we meet again everyone have a nice working week or weekend you take care and we'll see you again soon Thanks for watching, from me and from Emo, it's goodbye.